What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here for class comparisons. We're going to be taking a look at Void Highlord vs Lightcaster for soloing. Before we get into that, if you guys could leave any suggestions for future class comparisons in the comment section down below, that'd be great. Today we'll be looking at two main aspects of these classes, their sustainability and their speed. These classes have got to be able to take down a boss quickly and stay alive while doing it. First of all, we'll talk about the sustainability of both these classes. Now I say sustainability, but I'm talking about the mana consumption and their ability to stay alive. Both these classes are absolutely fine for mana consumption. You could spam every ability in both these classes and they'd be fine. So we're mainly talking about their ability to stay alive. Lightcaster uses two of its abilities to contribute towards that. And it's okay. One of them is a 25% reduction in the enemy's hit chance and one of them is a heal. So it's it's fine for 99% of situations in AQW. But the 1% uh, monsters like Desolich. Desolich is a pretty special example, but it really becomes obvious that Void Highlord's better in this department when fighting something like Desolich. Void Highlord has two different effects that increase your damage resistance by 50%, um, and it also has two different heals. It has a life steal, and it also has a HOT and the HOT is pretty much infinite, just lasts forever as long as you keep stacking an ability. So really Void Highlord is better in this situation, but you need to remember that sustainability is not really too important for the final verdict here. Like I said, most monsters in the game, Lightcaster is absolutely fine for, and of course Void Highlord is too. So it's more about the speed that we're talking about today. Finally, let's wrap things up with a discussion regarding the speed at which these classes can solo. So, talking about Lightcaster, Lightcaster's damage output is really good. It has a pretty interesting mechanic where you stack up a 3% increase on your damage uh, up to 50 times. So you can get a 150% damage increase uh, as long as you can get that stacked 50 times. It's really, really quite, quite effective. However, a lot of fights don't actually last long enough to get the full 50 stacks. So it really is just a nice little increase that just exponentially goes up and up and up. Um, the abilities on Lightcaster, they do a decent enough damage. Um, there's an ability called Light Blast, which uh, is guaranteed to hit but can't crit. So it's it's a pretty nice nice little hit. It hits about 1.4k 1. 1. sort of thing, and you can just rely on that to deal a bit of damage. It's got, a, it's got really solid damage output. There's nothing really unexpected that ever happens. And you can get some nice crits on the last ability. It's got a nice DOT, and uh, the crits everywhere else are pretty nice as well. And it's just, it's just generally got some good damage output. Now, as for Void Highlord, Void Highlord again pulls ahead here. Void Highlord has a uh, damage increase by 50% on its last ability, which is uh, just an instant damage increase. And also that last ability that I mentioned can crit really, really high. You also have uh, on your last ability a increase in your critical strike damage. Um, and then you also have an ability that you you tend to spam, which is a guaranteed crit and that, that cannot miss. So you're really, really putting out a lot of damage. Um, your auto attack deals a lot of damage as well. Your, just your overall damage is, is, seems to be a bit higher than, than uh, Lightcasters. And the measurements I took reflect that. So what I got here was some times that it took to solo a boss that I got. It was just a random boss in the lair. It had 116k HP. I wasn't measuring the survivability. I was only measuring the speed. So for Void Highlord, um, its average time was 45 seconds. And for Lightcaster, its average time was 63 seconds. Now that translated to a DPS average on Lightcaster for 1,841. And Void Highlord's average DPS was 2,577. So Void Highlord clearly has higher damage and Void Highlord clearly has better sustainability. So the clear winner here is Void Highlord. Now I'd like to quickly discuss what that means though, because Lightcaster is a seasonal class and it's pretty pretty damn easy to get. It's not too difficult to obtain. Um, whereas Void Highlord is the most difficult class in the game to obtain. So it's no surprise that there's it's going to be few and far between classes that come close to Void Highlord, and I think Lightcaster gets pretty close. There are a lot of classes in the game that are honestly put to shame by Void Highlord. Classics such as, as uh, Artifact Hunter, which was once considered one of the best soloing classes in the game, is absolutely demolished by Void Highlord, getting like double the DPS. It's it's pretty sad to look at a at a once once great soloing class like like a uh, Artifact Hunter put to shame by Void Highlord. But that's that's not even not even that important because Void Highlord is so hard to get. As I guess it's just a nice reward for those who 
do put in the grinding and the effort to get it. Well, that's going to do it for a video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and remember to leave any suggestions for future class comparisons in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.